गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल टुडे वी विल सॉल्व अ न्यूमेरिकल क्वेश्चन ऑन इमेज साइज डिटर्मिनेशन एंड इट्स ट्रांसमिशन सो इन दिस क्वेश्चन द रिजोल्यूशन ऑफ एन इमेज इट इज गिवन टू अस द नंबर ऑफ ग्रे स्केल एंड द नंबर ऑफ लेयर्स इज ऑल्सो गिवन टू अस एंड वी हैव टू डिटरमाइन द साइज ऑफ दिस इमेज सिमिलरली द ट्रांसमिशन स्पीड एज वेल एज इट्स कन्फिग्रेशन एज वेल एज द पैकेट कन्फिग्रेशन इट इज गिवन टू अस एंड वी हैव टू डिटरमाइन वट इज द ट्रांसमिशन टाइम रिक्वायर्ड फॉर दिस इमेज सो वन बाय वन वी विल सॉल्व फर्स्ट वी विल डिटरमाइन द साइज ऑफ दिस इमेज सो इन दिस क्वेश्चन The resolution of an image it is given to us it is one zero two four cross one zero two four. So this one zero two four it represent the number of rows that is m and it represent the number of column that is n. So in this question the number of rows that is m it is given to us it is one zero two four. Similarly number of column that is n it is given to us it is one zero two four. and in this image total number of gray scale it is 64 in order to represent 64 gray scale we need six number of bits so to represent 64 gray scale number of bit per pixel we need that is six bits required to represent 64 gray levels now m that is number of rows it is 1024 and that is number of column that is 1024 so total number of pixels it is total number of pixels it is 1024 into 1024 and each pixel required six number of bit so size of this image it is 1024 multiplied with 1024 that is total number of pixels now each pixel required six number of bits so i will multiply it here six this much number of bits is required now again there are total 100 number of layers are present so this is the size of a single layer this is the size of a single layer now if 100 number of layers are present this is the size of a single layer in a single layer there are uh, the number of rows it is 1024 the number of column it is 1024 and each pixel required six number of bit and this is the size of the image of one layer similarly if 100 number of layers are present then the total image size which consist of 100 number of layer it is 1024 into 1024 into 6 for single layer multiplied by 100 for 100 number of layers so this is the total size of this image in terms of bits and in question we have to represent the total size of this image in terms of gb so in order to convert this bits into gb first this bit i will convert into byte that is divided by 8 total number of bits divided by 8 to convert the image size in terms of bytes now in order to convert byte to kilobyte this factor i will divided by 1024 so this number 1024 multiplied with 1024 multiplied with 6 into 100 divided by 8 this is the image size in terms of byte now in order to convert this byte into kilobyte i will divide this number by 1024 this is the image size in kilobyte 
now in order to convert kilobyte into megabyte again i will divide this number by 1024 now from megabyte to gigabyte again i will divide by factor 1024 so on simplification on simplification this number it is coming to be 0 0.073 GB. Now we will solve the remaining part. In part B, we have to determine the transmission uh, time to trans. Uh, we have to determine the time required to transfer this image. And the transmission speed it is 128 kilobit per second and the configuration of the packet it is given to us the configuration of the packet it consists of 100 number of data bit and each bit each packet is segregated by a start flag and by a stop flag each consists of 14 number of bit it means other than 100 number of data bit there are 14 number of start bit and 14 number of stop bit is present in each packet so first we will determine if we have 1024 into 1024 into 6 into 100 number of bits how many number of packet we can form from these many number of bits. So first I will determine the number of packets. The size of the entire image it is 1024 cross 1024 into 6 into 100 and in each packet it consists of 100 number of bits so what is the total number of packet that we can form since each packet consists of 100 number of bit and we have this many number of bits so number of packets that we can form it is 1024 multiplied with 1024 multiplied with 6 into 100 that is the total image size and each packet consists of 100 number of bits so divided by 100 it will give you a number that is 6291456 number of packets can be formed from this image all right now let us draw the configuration of this packet hundred number of data bits are present 14 start bit and 14 stop bits are present in this in each packet so what is the total size of this packet size of this packet it is equals to 100 data bit plus 14 start bit plus 14 stop bit so it becomes equals to 128 number of bits so in in this example we can form 6291456 number of packets each packet consists of 128 number of bit so number of bit that we have to transmit so number of bits need to be transmitted it is equals to the number of packet that is 6291456 multiplied with 128 number of bit number of packet that is 6291456 multiplied with the size of the packet that is 128 bits so this is the total number of bits that we have to transmit
now the size of the image sorry the transfer rate it is 128 kilobit per second so transmission speed transmission speed it is 128 kilobit per second so this many number of bits we have to transmit our transmission speed is 128 kilobit per second so the time required it is equals to the total number of bits that is 6291456 multiplied with 128 divided by total number of bits divided by transmission speed that is 128 kilobit per second in terms of bit per second we have to multiply here 1000 and now on simplification we will get 6291.456 seconds now we have to convert this time in terms of hours so this is 6291.456 divided by 3600 that is equals to 